There are two things that I just love about this state. Our amazing food and wine scene and those spectacular beaches. Today we're lucky enough to be at a venue that brings both of those things together. We're at Bibb and Tucker down on Leighton Beach. But the ocean is not the only connection this venue's got to water. He's inside on the pass. Let's go in and meet him. This place is one of a kind, a restaurant serving the freshest Australian style cuisine. And here's the water and food link, Eamon Sullivan. Eamon, great. Thanks for having us. What a venue. Thanks for coming, Scott. Mate, how do you get any work done with a view like that? It is pretty hard to keep the staff motivated when it's a sunny day. You get a few sick calls every now and then, but um, it's great for the customers to have this sort of view. We're pretty lucky. So, B&T, Bim and Tucker, tell us about the name. We, when we got the site, we didn't really know what we were going to do. We tried to come up with a name. We didn't want to pigeonhole ourselves into being a certain type of cuisine because we wanted to be flexible what we were doing. And Bib and Tucker essentially means, uh, back in the olden days, uh, putting on your best bib and tucker, putting on uh, your bibs or your clothes and going out for a nice meal. But it's not all about the best clothes, is it? Right at the front door there, there's a couple of taps that says you can wash the sandy feet. That's right. Yeah, we like to think of ourselves as uh, business up top, party at the bottom. <laughs> uh, we encourage people to come in their thongs off the beach. Just don't bring the sand in with you. <laughs> Mate, uh, tell us about your favourite dish here. One of my favourites at the moment is probably the free octopus with the Nadouya, chickpeas and Whitloff. Uh, it's caught pretty much right out the front. Great product with over the charcoal grill, a bit of Spanish uh, Nadouya in there, chickpeas and beautiful dish. So it's all about local and fresh produce. Geez, it doesn't get much more local than that, or does it? Funny you say that, because we've actually just uh, invested in some beehives that we keep on the roof. Oh, wow. um, so we're using the honey in a few of our dessert dishes and sell the honey by the jar as well. So fresh from the roof onto the plate, so you can't get much fresher than that. Mate, that's pretty cutting edge. Something right that long. I mean, it doesn't get much more local than that, does no, it? No, it's, it's been a great process. We've learned a lot from having them, and you learn that they only travel, they can only travel within two kilometre radius of, of where the hive is. Um, and that means all the all the flowers that are pollinating is pretty much where they're going. So we, we hoped that we'd have some, some saltiness in it and we've got a little bit of saltiness in our second batch. So it's pretty interesting. Well, I'm pretty excited about that, Oki. It sounds sensational. Can we chuck one on the grill? Oh, I know the owner, so I think we can work something out. All right, let's get in there. <laughs> and talk about fresh. That is fantastic, isn't it? Did you catch that yourself? Got up extra early this morning just for you, Scott. Well, I tell you what, with food like this and views like that and this good looking rooster at the helm, you can see why Bibb and Tucker is right at the top of the list of the Perth foodie scene. Check out the website right now. Eamon and I are going to finish this off, pull on the Speedos and maybe swing to the Rotto pub and have a beer. What do you think? I think I'll probably be drinking by myself because I don't think you'd make it. Yeah, I probably won't. <laughs>